Hi, my name is Ivy Geiserman Kiss, and I'm a postdoctoral fellow in clinical psychology at the Seaver Autism Center for Research and Treatment at Mount Sinai. I'm going to be talking about the early warning signs for autism spectrum disorder that may be seen in toddlers. Before I begin, it's important to note that there's a wide range of typical development, and the individual warning signs that I'll be describing are not always sufficient for a diagnosis of autism. These warning signs are just that, atypical behaviors that may warrant a closer look or a discussion with a pediatrician. Typically, developing infants and toddlers are extremely interested in their surroundings and the people around them. They're socially and emotionally engaged and use a variety of communication strategies to express their needs and wants even before they have developed effective language skills. For example, by around six months old, a typically developing infant will interact with his or her caregiver through clear eye contact and social smiles. Social smiles are reciprocal or back and forth in nature. This social reciprocity increases as the child gets older and usually by about 12 months, a typically developing toddler will participate in simple social routines like a game of peekaboo or rolling a ball back and forth. Also around this time, a toddler begins to consistently respond when his or her name is called and begins to use single words and basic gestures, like waving or clapping to communicate. In contrast, most children who ultimately receive a diagnosis of autism show a different developmental trajectory. While some children will begin to show warning signs very early in development, others may not show symptoms until around two or three years old. There is a wide range in how these warning signs present, and some warning signs may be very clear, while others are subtle and difficult to pick up. Some symptoms may significantly interfere with the family's daily activities, while others are manageable for a family to deal with. In addition, some children with autism may start to develop social and communication skills, but then lose these skills or regress. Overall, the early warning signs for autism are heterogeneous and variable in nature. Toddlers who receive a diagnosis of autism may show deficits in both verbal and nonverbal social communication skills. In terms of verbal social communication skills, a child with autism may demonstrate delayed speech acquisition and limited back and forth social babble. A child's babble or early speech may consist of an unusual tone or pitch. Echolalia is a common early symptom of autism, where a toddler may repeat back what you said verbatim with the same pattern of intonation. Once language is acquired, a toddler with autism may script or repeat entire phrases, sentences, or dialogues that he or she heard from someone else or on television. Some toddlers with autism may also have unusual ways of saying things or may use overly formal or sophisticated language. Many social communication skills are nonverbal in nature. A young child at risk for autism may have difficulty making eye contact and using or responding to gestures and facial expressions. Children with autism may sometimes use someone else's hand as a tool. For example, they may place their parent's hand on a jar that they want opened without simultaneously integrating other communication strategies like eye contact or vocalizations. Toddlers who receive an autism diagnosis demonstrate limited social initiation as well as limited social responsivity. In terms of social initiation, we would expect a typically developing toddler to share their interests with others by giving, showing, or pointing to objects of interest. For example, in a toy store, a child may point to a toy on a shelf that he or she is interested in or pick it up and show it to their parent. A child with autism may not use these pointing, giving, or showing skills to share their interests. In addition, young children with autism may be comfortable playing on their own and may not show interest in same age peers or share their excitement in activities that they enjoy. For instance, when a typically developing child is participating in their favorite activity, they would likely look at their parent and smile to express that they're enjoying themselves. A child with autism is less likely to engage in this type of behavior. Toddlers who receive a diagnosis of autism may also show limited social responsivity. Many toddlers with autism may not consistently respond when their name is called or follow the point of a caregiver. They may not react to a caregiver's playful interactions or silly faces. 
In addition, they may resist or avoid physical contact from a caregiver when they're distressed. Toddlers with autism may demonstrate a variety of repetitive behaviors or restricted interests. However, many toddlers show patterns of behavior that may broadly fit into this category. So as I mentioned before, it's important for a caregiver to talk to a pediatrician about specific concerns. We commonly see repetitive motor movements in toddlers with autism, including repetitive body rocking, jumping, spinning, hand flapping, and other unusual ways of moving hands or fingers, like finger flicking or twisting. Toddlers with autism may also show strong interests or attachments to unusual things, such as doorstops, toilets, or strings, as well as unusually intense interests in specific topics, such as Thomas the Train or subways. Often, these interests interfere with a child's ability to participate in other activities. In addition, some toddlers with autism show repetitive patterns of play, including lining up toys or focusing on specific parts of a toy. Other early warning signs include significant difficulty with minor changes in daily routines or transitions between activities, as well as under or overreactions to sensory experiences, including peering out of the corner of their eye, sniffing toys, or covering their ears during loud noises. Caregivers should regularly talk with their pediatrician about their child's development. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that all children be formally screened for autism at their 18 and 24 month visits and whenever a caregiver or a doctor has concerns, using a validated screening tools, such as the Modified Checklist for Autism in Toddlers or the MCHAT. Caregivers who are concerned can actually fill out the screener online for free and then bring the results to their pediatrician. However, it's important to keep in mind that screening does not diagnose autism. All this being said, families do not need to wait for an autism diagnosis to receive helpful services. Federal law requires states to provide therapy whenever screening identifies developmental delays or learning challenges through early intervention. In addition, the CDC has a variety of free resources on child development. For more information, please visit our website or feel free to visit the resources listed on this page. Thank you for your time.